Hi there, my name is D. Ivan Briesen. I'm a faculty member at Central Piedmont Community College, and I also do a lot of um, online and in-person training, particularly for uh, teachers and also for students. So this series of tutorials relates to using Moodle for instructors, and we also have an accompanying set of uh, lectures for using Moodle for students. We're going to be using Moodle 1.9 uh, as of this recording, 2.0. One is imminent, and uh, we're just taking our time getting ready for that because a lot of customers are going to be waiting to upgrade to 2.0 or 2.1 for some time to come. Uh, we're here in the state of North Carolina, and a number of schools here are adopting Moodle, and I'm heartened by that, and I'm excited by that. Just to give you a little bit of background, I've been using Moodle for, let's just say, since about version 1.1. And I remember back in the day when I bragged to people that the user base had gone from 2,000 to 3,000, and now we're in, you know, in quantum leaps from that. I've seen Moodle progress in some ways, and in other ways not so much. And uh, I hope that this series of tutorials will help you get started easily and painlessly, and uh, give you a sense of how you can use the tool to both work your online classes, but also to manage uh, hybrid classes and classes where you meet in person all the time but just need a way of kind of managing your online resources, uh, saving paper and printing syllabi and instructions and even giving quizzes in class through the web page. Now there's an awful lot of details here and we are not setting out to write an entire textbook, but uh, hopefully this will cover the basics and if I can ever at any time help you out with anything, pretty easy to reach. If you go to tropicalteachers.com, there's a form there, you can send me a note and I'll be happy to give you my cell phone if that would be of any benefit to you. Otherwise, uh, happy learning, happy moodling, and I'm looking forward to this. Here we go with the glare.